Hack in there. It's locked. As you guys can see, I'm I'm calm. I'm still calm. And this other client is just pushing people overboard. And like I said, Jonas is never home. He's never home. I have phone calls out that I've tried to send him. I have text messages of him just not answering me. Just not, like, responding. Um, this is beyond anything I've ever seen. And, like, yesterday, I actually left the house when it was snowing because I just didn't want to even be home. Because I just, I don't, like, this situation is just so escalated. Like, I, there, there's not even a word for it. Like, like, I just don't even know what's going on. Like, like the way I am right now in this room... This is how I am every single day. And I'm actually surprised that Jonas came home this time because he doesn't actually, on a regular basis, he doesn't do this. This is like a once in a two week thing to where he actually comes home and does this. So we, well, what is actually going unheard is the fact that you know, there's the backside, the backstory to this of what is actually like triggering this, and it's actually Jonah's that is triggering getting the other client and me completely like we just had enough with this care provider. I have called DDRC, I have called as many places as I can. I just got word that I am moving out on December 1st. That is official. And like I said, the provider Jonas is just never home. He's never home. And so they don't actually have any proof of like anything that is actually going on here when they're not here. They just don't have any proof. And this is this is crazy. My my family my biological family, um, my case manager, um, they, they're all aware. That's why, that's part of the reason why they're moving me, is because I've reported this situation. I've shown the videos, and they just want me gone. They want me in a different host home. If I didn't speak up, the way I am right now, and I didn't show the videos to my case manager for my disability care service, Jonas would be doing the, what he's doing right now. I want Daniel gone. I want I want him arrested. Like, he's, he's the problem. Um, they would not blame the other client for the fact that, you know, he's upset. He's triggering the situation. They're not upset I mean sorry the other provider Jonas is just never home they don't they don't talk about that they really don't they don't talk about the other provider just just laughing they don't talk about that they don't talk about that the actual job as a care provider is not being done right they don't talk about that. I've called 911 yesterday and I tried to report. They sent the flipping child protection team. I'm not trying to be mean to the police, but the message is not getting to them. And I've been calling about this for a long time. For a long time. I've probably sent about 10 phone calls to the police. I have text messages to the police, to 911. I have, like, this is insane that this is going unheard this long. Like I said, if I didn't actually report to my case manager and send the actual proof in an email, this would have never happened. But this is insane. I'm going to show the officer 
all the messages. This is insane.